stack on the Cummins, man. 6-7. Ram. We're not talking 5 not We're talking 6-7 here. Look at that stack. Oh, yes. Talk about a switch up for the channel. This truck had not handled a stack because it's a gas, but this. It's a diesel. We gotta remember this is a diesel. Oh my gosh. Five inch stack with like the opening on the top where it's like a knight, you know what I mean? The castle where it's just like the edges where people would hang. You know what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, look at that. Screw the oh oh. Hello. What what? Wait. Why is there a box here? Oh, so, yeah, there, there we go, guys. This is what my truck would look like if I put a stack on the truck. Now, I think it looks pretty cool. Obviously, I'd go with something bigger, probably an 8-inch dynamic. Really, man. diameter of this stack is definitely not big enough if I were to get one it'd be at least eight inches eight to ten or something maybe throw a big barrel back there you never know so look at that thing man that would be so cool of course I'd have to get a black one of course of course you know me I like black over chrome any day sun's coming out beautiful day talking about a stack oh my gosh look at that thing and what that is is that that's the if you guys are curious it's the extension pipe if I had a mega cab or an eight foot long bed. I think the eight foot long bed is what it really is because I mean you look at the length and my bed's not that long. But yeah, that that honestly would be so cool for the truck. The only downside of it really is is that you have to put a bucket over top of it every time and you would also need to clean off the back of your truck and that's two reasons alone why people don't like stacks because of that. And especially if you have a loud truck, especially if you are running a straight pipe to begin with, it's going to be loud in the cab. That is going to rattle in and shake and everything. And also on the inside of the bed, you're not going to be able to put that much. Well, if anything rolls onto that stack, it's going to be so hot and it's just going to melt whatever's in there or burn it or anything. So you're going to have to build something around it. So there's a lot of extra work involved for that. And another thing is that a lot of places may not pass you for inspection. So that's basically five reasons right there not to stack your truck. But maybe it's, maybe it's worth it. Honestly, I think they look so amazing. I see a lot of trucks around here with them. Majority OBS Fords, there's this diesel shop down the road a little bit. They always work on OBS Ford 7.3s, four door 7.3s, and they'll always have stacks and it look really cool. So with that being said, I have seen a gas Ford with a stack on it. It's pretty weird. I've also seen a Duramax with two stacks and then it would also have a regular exhaust. So I don't know what was going on there. Maybe they just put it in for the looks and then actually still had the axle exhaust under the truck so that's pretty weird oh and i even seen a gas silverado with stacks and they were on the pipe was probably i don't even know three inches wide i don't even know the purpose of that so that was kind of weird as well so you guys are probably wondering if i have a stack on my truck where is the regular exhaust well we still got it right here of course that's not going to really you know you know what i could do for both of you guys you know split the exhaust into a y pipe and put it in from the bed going up to the bed and right here. So that way, you know, I get the best of both worlds, right? <laughs> just kidding, guys. Both trucks right now are just running the single pipe. This truck right here has a full five inch straight pipe exhaust, custom exhaust, fully painted black before put on. And then this truck just has the sock exhaust pipe with a custom exhaust tip with the glass pack interior. And then this over here, as you can see, I have a muffler. It's a Flowmaster Super 40 series, but the corrosion is getting pretty bad on it, so I don't know how long it's going to last, and then it's going to basically be super duper loud. This truck has come a long way in 